Well, hi, this is Ken with Village Green, and today I want to talk with you a little bit about foundation drip lines. I, when it's hot and dry, I get a lot of calls from people asking about, about these, and typically they have, they have a handful of questions. Number one, they want to know, do I really need to install them? Uh, number two, when we install them, what do, they, what do they actually do? And number three, what's the best way to install them? So I called a friend of mine that's a structural engineer and asked him those questions. Uh, first of all, the recommendation is definitely yes, you, you do want to have uh, a drip line installed around the house. Uh, what that does is that keeps an even amount of, of moisture all the way around the foundation and that creates what's what's called a moisture barrier. Underneath your foundation, it, typically actually there is there is moisture underneath there and what we're trying to do is to prevent that moisture from getting wicked out or from drying out. The drip lines all the way around the foundation that can, that creates a barrier that doesn't allow that, that water to to evaporate out from underneath. The next thing then is how do we install the the drip lines? So the, what you want to do is you, you want these buried somewhere around three or four inches below the line, below the, the ground level. And then if it's, uh, if it's a flat area, you want to put them about 18 inches out from the foundation. If, if there's a slope, you might scoot that back to closer to six or eight inches, somewhere in that range. And then we typically run those somewhere around, oh, 10 minutes or so uh, per day seven days a week and that keeps them at, keeps your, your foundation at, at a regular amount. The last question that, that sometimes I'll get asked is well can I just do that with with soaker hoses and the answer is yes sort of but but what happens with soaker hoses is number one those are only good for about a year um, and then you, you're gonna have to throw them away and then start over. Number two it's, it's almost impossible to get an even amount uh, of water uh, running through those, through those soaker hoses. Uh, so you're, you're not going to get a good amount of water. Uh, number three, because those are going to be setting on top of the ground, uh, that, that means that you're going to get a lot of evaporation and they're not really meant to be buried. So it really, for long term, you're, you're much better off installing a, a drip line irrigation system that's hooked up to your sprinkler system and then it just keeps it watered and you don't really have to think about it. Hopefully that, that answers the, the questions that you have. Uh, if you're interested in how much those run, we, we do install them. Just give us a call. So this is Ken with Village Green. If you like these videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and send them on to your friends and family. Village Green growing plants, growing people, and growing relationships.